hi everyone welcome back to the channel today we're going to be showing you on how to transform and work body to code dojo today we're going to be showing you on showing your child items in a view this is available as a power apps control which you will need to enable to get this functionality as you can see i'm on my active contact and my active contacts look a little bit different from what you used to because now on this view you actually have grid lines that means that you are able to edit on the same view without you leaving that view or opening the form to change certain things within that view it gives you the ability to change or update certain columns within that record which you have selected as you can see on the current screen that i'm on that i'm gonna be able to change the email address without me actually opening the record form So that's the power of this control that we are in here and it doesn't actually even end there we have more things that are installed for you in this video like for instance you can click on this arrow here to drop down so i have configured this current record that i'm actually on to show me the cases that are linked to this contact as you can see on the view here that i have that i have a sub view which is actually hidden when it is not expanded but when it is expanded you are able to see the records which are linked to the main record which is the one that we are actually on which is the contact and on the sub view that i'm actually on i am able to go in and change some of the data that is there as you can see i've changed it to a phone call and here i'm just gonna make it email and the last one i'm gonna make it web as you can see here i didn't need to actually go in to the actual record form to change any of these which actually reduced on the amount of time that i was gonna take by actually opening the form edit it save and close and then go back to another one but with this view it gives me the ability to go in and change those values that i need to change as you can see that we are on the contacts let's go into the account on the account we're still using the old view or the default view that comes with your model driven apps doesn't allow you to actually edit or drill down as you've seen with the previous screen that i was on it actually pushes you to go into the record and edit it as you can see here now for me to change the email or anything that is on the form i actually need to go in and open the form so that i can update those specific columns so now i'm going to be taking you through on how you actually configure this view to be editable and have a subgrid to be able to get to this view i'm going to show you on how to configure it head to your power apps so I've got a demo solution here with two tables. I'm going to concentrate on the contacts one so it is quicker for me to show you on how it is configured. Click on the ellipsis next to publish all customization and click on switch to classic. Once you've switched back to classic, select the entity that you want. In my case, it is contact. And on your left, you have four tabs, general, primary field, controls, and events click on the controls and on the controls you'll see that i have already added power apps grid control if it is not added you can actually find it under add controls which will pop a dialogue and on that dialogue you have a list of controls where you can actually scroll down until you see the one that you're actually looking for so in my case it's already added if it wasn't added you would need to click on it and click add once you have added your power app grid control make sure you change the visibility because by default it is set to read only grid where you'll get that 
web phone and tablet are selected so now for our example we're gonna change it to the power grid control the next thing that you'll need to do is to select your power grid control which will come with a couple of configurations or settings that you'll need to do the first one that you'll need to do is to actually select the view that you want to see when you click on the expand arrow on the main view i've selected all cases so i wanted to see all cases for that client or contact but if it is not done you can actually click on this pencil icon to configure your properties select the entity that you want to see and the view that you want to see and click ok now that you've selected it you need to tell it by which lookup to actually link the two into your next row where it says child item parent id you click on the same icon as you did before you'll see that i've actually selected my binding to a value of a field you click ok what we wanted to do is actually done but to take it a step further what we've done on our view we actually enabled editing you click on the pencil icon and you select yes okay after doing all of that you will need to save what changes you've made and publish once your solution is published you'll need to go back to your application and refresh the whole application to see the changes that you have made and that's it on how to configure your power apps grid control with child items and enabled editing catch you next time where we show you cool things to do on dynamics and power platform and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and give us input on how we can improve on these videos.